Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review, and today from McFarlane's Toys in their DC Multiverse line, we are looking at the Riddler, as he appears in the video game Arkham City. Alright, so if you're a gamer, you might be familiar with the Arkham line of video games by Rocksteady Studios. Um, I think it was kicked off with... Oh, which game was it? Arkham Asylum, followed by, I think, Arkham City. And then they did Arkham... Another studio did Arkham Origin, which is a prequel to Arkham Asylum. And then I think they bookended it with Arkham Knight. Um, I think there were also a couple of... I think. Uh, mobile games and maybe even like some sort of weird side scroller i can't remember but we have the riddler as he appears in arkham city uh interesting take on the character and then on the back um this looks like this artwork i'm not sure if this is concept art from the video game or what all right so let's get started um so when i saw this figure um i was kind of lukewarm to the i mean i was always kind of lukewarm to this design to begin with uh, the Riddler is one of those characters that I, I kind of feel like everyone who does their take on him, they kind of want to make him seem like the cool, hip character. You know, like the underrated villain, the mastermind genius. Um, and uh, I don't know, I think for me, I just can't get past the original... Not, I don't want to say original, but the, the live-action 66 Joker, since, uh, not Joker, Riddler, since that's the one I kind of grew up on. Um... But then again, you know, different strokes for different folks. Uh, trading card, display base. And uh, we have the Riddler. I oh, God, I hope I didn't call him the Joker. <laughs> I always F up and just always call one over the other. Um, all right, so we have the Riddler here. And my brain is not functioning. <laughs> all right, so we have the Riddler. Um, he comes with his staff, which is a pretty cool accessory. Um, very unique look and take on the character. And let's... All right, so I'm not very focused today, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> I just got off reading and uh, reviewing another action figure. So my mind's still kind of like wrapped around that one. Um, okay, so we have his little staff with the question mark. It's it's a very cool looking accessory. Uh, it almost kind of has that look like, you know, it's maybe like metal and casted with some like dents and, you know, weathering and damage to it. You kind of see all the chipping. Uh, so it's very, very realistic. You know, if you're a customizer, maybe take some silver and dry brush it on here to make it look even more weathered and more just, you know, grizzled. Looks cool. I dig this a lot. And we come to the Riddler. So, I don't know. It's like, for me, the Riddler, he, he should always come across more so as a bookworm than someone that looks kind of fashionable or cool. Like, I've seen so many different takes on him. I've seen him with pork chop sideburns. I've seen him with tattoos. I've seen the Riddler all ripped. Um, and this one almost kind of does it for me. I think this kind of works. I'm not too keen on the rolled up sleeves and then the boots above the slacks. But then again, this is his video game design. One thing I can't remember if um, all these question marks on his uniform were painted in the game. Because I know that for some of the um, Arkham figures, like I think, I think it was Arkham Knight, like the color scheme on that wasn't accurate to the video game model. And I think that might be the case here. I think there might be some paint missing on here. But nonetheless, it's a great looking Riddler. And if you want a McFarlane uh, Riddler in your collection, you know, so far, this is uh, the only option you have besides the 66 one. And the 66 one's a different scale, so. Uh, speaking of scale, here he is next to the McFarlane-designed Batman. 
Um, I've said this before, for the earlier waves of the DC multiverse, multiverse figures from McFarlane, much larger action figures, very inconsistent in scale. Um, and I'm not sure why the figures are kind of shrinking down. I'm not sure if they're trying to c correct a scale issue or if it's a cost-cutting measure. You know, just making smaller figures means less plastic. But it'll just give you an idea. You know, if you're one of those people that ha have difficulty um, displaying the figures next to each other because of the incredible size difference, you know, this might turn you off. This almost feels like the same size as like a Marvel Legends, maybe a little bit taller. Let me... Uh, so let me grab a Marvel Legends figure real quick. Yeah, it's kind of weird. This almost feels size-wise like a Marvel Legends, like a slightly larger Marvel Legends. Uh, the sculpting is well done. It's pretty detailed. Um, I like how the glasses are kind of like tweaked it down so you can see his eyes and his eyebrows. I don't think these come off, do they? The glasses do look like a separate piece, but I believe they're glued on. Because they're not sculpted onto the head. It looks like there's a notch on the um, on the temples and above the ears where these kind of slot in. He's kind of wearing like a bowler cap. Um, his lapel is unbuttoned. So he kind of has his tie. His tie clip's a joker. I mean not joker. Um, it's a question mark. God, I keep on saying joker. I have like joker on the brain today. Uh, speaking of the Riddler... Wait, did I say Joker? I, I don't know. This <laughs> this review is a mess. Right? Um, so he has question marks. They're kind of like a relieved to detail, so you can actually feel it, which is nice. It's kind of cool. Uh, rolled up sleeves. Um, large question mark on the back. Oh, there's also the the live action Robert uh, from the live action Robert Pattinson Batman. Uh, there's that Riddler, which looks more like some sort of like masked violent protester but you know i think this is this me this might be more up to speed with you know most fans since there's not a traditional comic book riddler yet um i know that mattel for their dc classics you know they released a bunch of riddler figures and they kind of used that same buck body that they used for all of the other like dc classics figures so the riddler was like super buff he was like buff as like superman but this kind of works. You know, I kind of dig this. He's very, I don't know, metropolitan in his look. It's a fancy Riddler. But he's ready to rumble. He has rolled up sleeves and he can, like, walk in deep water with the boots. Uh, articulation, head. Wow, it gets crazy. Uh, standard articulation. The pins are pretty large, which is kind of unsightly, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, as you can see, he has a cut mid torso, swivel, legs, knees. Um, much like other McFarlane figures, there's always a disconnect in the colors. The knees don't match the rest of the pant leg, which is unfortunate. Articulated ankles and toes. So it's a great figure. Um, I think if you've collected most of the Arkham figures, you kind of need this one. I think it's amazing that they've done. So many characters from Batman's uh, rogues gallery for the Arkham games. You know, we've, we've gotten maybe two or three Jokers. Uh, we got uh, the Penguin. We got the cat. We got Catwoman. Uh, we got. I think it was Arkham. Is it Arkham City or Arkham Origins for um, Deathstroke? I can't remember. But we got a Deathstroke, and uh, we've gotten I think two or three different versions of Batman. So yeah, I mean, the Arkham line is kind of cool. I think for the most part, you know, you could build up a very solid collection of just the Arkham figures. And let's get the staff in hand and let's wrap this one up. So I think it's a, worth a purchase. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, for me, it's just, you know, a solid 8 to 8.5. Um, it's nothing to write home about, but it adds another villain to your, you know, your Batman shelf. Uh, I dig the little staff or cane. It looks pretty cool. Um, I love the expression with the glasses. And overall, it's a nice figure. You know, I kind of prefer this version of the Riddler as opposed to some of the other ones I've seen in comic books. Like I said, I don't like my Riddler with tattoos or like a ripped physique. You know, he should really be much more of a intellect and bookworm. And I think this kind of like, kind of crosses over into that a little 
he almost kind of looks like the actor from uh, Better Call Saul. Uh, what's his name? I can't God, it's on the tip of my tongue. But yeah, great figure. Well worth the purchase. All right, so this review is kind of a mess, <laughs> but I hope you found it somewhat insightful, and if it helped you in your you know dilemma whether or not you want to purchase it. So let's wrap this up. Once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.